Uh, hi, my name is Pete uh, from North Atlantic, and today we're going to show you how to use uh, CoffeeFlow Gold to export text from an InDesign page, uh, translate that text into German, and then rapidly uh, build a new document um, in InDesign using the German text. Uh, CoffeeFlow Gold auto automates all these processes so you can concentrate on the translation. Uh, the document I've got here today is a Adobe um, annual report from several years ago. It's got lots of different stories and text flows in it. You can see all these different boxes. Um, if you had to cut and paste all this, it would take a considerable length of time. Uh, but with Co CoffeeFlow Gold, frees you from all that and puts all the material into a single uh, XML XLeaf uh, text file that you can concentrate all in one shot. Um, you don't have to worry about working with big INX files or InDesign docs. Um, you can just concentrate on the translation. So let's see how all this works. Uh, the first thing we want to do when using CopyFlow Gold is to set the preferences. So if I open the tool here, there's a preferences button. Um, here I'm selecting my export format, in this case XLeaf. You can see there are a number of choices, um, but XLeaf is the one we're going to work with today. It's the one that we find is the most complete and also the most uh, open, the most number of computer-aided translation tools work with this. I can set my XLeaf preferences here. Um, in this case, where the source language is English and the target language is German, um, I've got an option here set to copy the source to the um, target segments. This is to be compatible with uh, Tag Editor, which is the translation tool we'll be using today. I'm going to save these preferences, save that. Once my preferences are set up, then I just click Export. Say where I want to store my or write my XLeaf file. And here I'm going to do it to Out. And then just click OK. CoffeeFlow Gold runs through the document. Um, analyzes the text and then begins to write the XLeaf document. As it does this, here you can see on the uh, tool palette on the side in this logging window, it's, it's recording what's going on. Uh, so then, now that we've exported the file, I can go to that folder. Um, and here's our new XLeaf file. I can open that. Uh, this is just in a, a um, or a sort of a raw text editor, an XML editor, so you can see what the contents look like. And here, let's get the text view. Uh, so here, uh, I can see, you know, there's some information about the export up here. We're going into German. We've used CoffeeFlow Gold to do the export. It gives me the date and timestamp and so on. And then down below, we've got the translation segments. Uh, bit by bit. In this case, it's all in English. Uh, but that's what we're going to open up in um, Tag Editor and translate using a, oh, a translation memory. I've already prepared this and, and the translation, so we'll just peek at it in Tag Editor. You can see here um, we've got a segment of text, uh, a quotation by Frank Romano, and then it's translation into German. The translations here have been done by Google, so uh, and they're automatic translations, so approximate. Uh, my apologies to you uh, for any inaccuracies. So going through this document, we can see we've got the source and the target segments all set up. And then down below here, I've, I've just stuck in some Japanese. It works in the same, same way. Um, again, the translation uh, is inexact. So once we're set in Tag Editor, I can then save the target file by clicking Save Target As, and where I, I want to write my new um, XLeaf file with my translation. In this case, I'd put it here. Uh, ding. And then we've exported that material out to a from from Tag Editor into a new XLeaf file that CoffeeFlow Gold can read. Uh, CoffeeFlow Gold will will open that up with we click the import button, open that up, and we begin the import process. So now it's combining CoffeeFlow Gold is combining the translated German text with all the formatting information and the typographic information in the InDesign document uh, to create an, an entirely new document, uh, this case in German. It'll open that new document for us, um, and the new document will be named with a language-specific extension. It's, it's really that simple. I well, think there's about 12 pages of material here, so this will take a few minutes uh, with all the graphics and so forth. <clears throat> oh, 
Okay, so here's our German version. Uh, and if we zoom in here a little bit, we can see the, all the translated text, the German, uh, the body text, and so forth. And if I scroll down here, we'll find, let me close the tool for a minute. Yeah, here's our, our Japanese. Uh, this demonstrates an issue you sometimes run into. The font that we were going into, this copy of uh, Garamond, does not have uh, the U all the Unicode characters. It does not have the high Unicode characters for the Japanese character set. So to see the Japanese, I'm just going to go up here and change the font to one that does support Japanese. And I think my Japanese fonts, unfortunately, are all the way down here on the bottom. Um, But once we do that, we'll be able to read the uh, the Japanese text. We wouldn't have this issue if I'd pre-planned for this. But all right, so we're going to go into Kazuka Gothic Pro Regular. Okay, and here uh, we can re read that Japanese again. This is an automatic translation, and you know. Uh, Hardly meant to be accurate. So that's Coffee Flow Gold. Uh, we've exported the text, translated it, and re-imported it. Um, Coffee Flow Gold works with uh, InDesign, Quark Express, and uh, Adobe Illustrator. Thanks very much.